وسلم. The prayer was one of the most important things which he explained to the people. Verbally and practically. If something you have to do five times a day. And he prayed for so many years, the Prophet Sallallahu There's no doubt that he explained it to the least detail which you need. There's nothing unleft. There's no stone which is left unturned, as they say. He explained it verbally and practically. In fact, the Prophet Sallallahu one day in the khutbah of the Jum'ah, in Jum'ah khutbah, this is something which... It has never been done. I haven't seen it myself also since I was born. I haven't seen any sheikh or any khatib stand on the mimbar and teach people the proper salah. But the Prophet did that. On the mimbar on Jum'ah, he was teaching people the proper salah. And it was time to teach them the sujood. He got out of the mimbar, took two steps and then made sujood and showed them. This is how you're supposed to pray Muslims. That's how important it is. Practical, verbally and practically. Even praying on the pulpit once, that's the one I was talking about, on the member. Standing, bowing and prostrating and then saying to them, I have done this so that you may follow me and learn my prayer. This shows you the difference between the khutbas the Prophet used to give and some of the khatibs today. May Allah guide us and them. Their khutbas is the replica of yesterday's news on CNN. Politics only. Who wants that? I can go to CNN and CBC and see the politics. Teach me my deen. He also gave the glad, good tidings to whoever prayed like him that such a person has a covenant with Allah. A covenant meaning a treaty. An agreement with Allah. Whoever prays just like how the Prophet prayed, we have an agreement with Allah that he will enter him into paradise. And if that's your book, like my book, I would cancel out garden. It says he'll enter him into the garden. It's not the garden, it's paradise. Paradise sounds more attractive. Jannah. Allahu Akbar. Al 